So, welcome to the Medical and Science Center for Continuous Personal and Professional Development. Today, the 4th of July, once again, I come with another daily life lesson. And uh, this daily life lesson tells us about having a resilient spirit, being resilient. Before I go into the details of how to develop a resilient spirit, contact us on the number and email shown on the screen for any career guidance, personal, professional development advice. Maybe one needs to shift from one career to another, or maybe needs to take a decision about which course to undertake. Any other issues concerning personal and professional development, contact us and we are readily available to provide that kind of advice and guidance. Now, getting back to our daily life lesson for today, to be resilient or to have a resilient spirit is very important. And for you to be able to have it, you need to recognize four things. Recognize number one that you need to overcome fear. Fear usually happens when we actually set our eyes off our goals. Sometimes it is common, especially in Uganda here where I come from, that when something, someone is planning something good, people simply say that it will end in tears. They are just trying to bring fear in you, that it will end in tears. Meaning that they are threatening you not to undertake something, simply because they think that it will end in tears. So, being resilient is actually being able to accept that there will be no tears. That even if there are tears, that is okay. There are those tears that you can be able to learn from. That will help you to have a resilient spirit. That is number one. Recognizing fear. Reason number two, recognize that you're self-contained. We are told from evolutionary biology that the, our body systems, the physiology, the anatomy, and all the other functions that have been designed within us have prepared us to live in the environment in which we are in. Otherwise, if we are not prepared, we wouldn't be living where we are living. So whatever we have in terms of our body organs, body structure, the systems that constitute our, make us self-contained to be able to address any issues that we encounter in the environment in which we find ourselves in to be resilient. But also leaving the evolution of the biology aside, when it comes to spirituality, looking at the components that we are made up of, the spirit, the soul, the mind, and of course the physical body, all show that we are self-contained to handle any situations that come our way. So, the second component that you must recognize is that you are self-contained. The third component that you must recognize is that to be resilient, it means that you have to overcome obstacles. And these obstacles are set in our way so that we can be able to reach our purpose. Without obstacles on the way, we find that actually we cannot be able to reach our purpose. Because by overcoming the obstacles that we encounter, one by one, they are part and parcel of our destiny. They are part and parcel of our journey in life. So being resilient, is recognizing that these obstacles are there to lead to the greater purpose for why you are here. Meaning that don't avoid obstacles but find a way of overcoming them. Use them as stepping stones. Actually, we are told again that if you find yourself on a path which has no obstacles, it means you are actually moving on another person's path. So remember your own path, you have to create it. You have to get the obstacles out of the way. And that is another way of, of being resilient by recognizing that there are obstacles for a greater purpose. And the last one, which is number four, is that you need to recognize that others depend on you. Whether family, children, whether biological, non-biological, whether in the community, whether at work, 
there are people who highly depend on you directly or indirectly. Even there are people who depend on you in a way that you may not know. So, being resilient, it means that you're fulfilling their need in one way or the other. It is important to remember that in one way or the other, we depend on others and others depend on us. So, even when something appears not to have direct benefit to you, be resilient. Well know that actually it may be having and indeed it has benefit to others that you may know or you may not know. We are told in 1 Corinthians in the Bible that some of you have gifts. Gifts of different kinds. Gifts of knowledge and wisdom. Gifts of prophecy. Gifts of speaking in tongues. Gifts of interpreting them. But all of them are provided by the same Spirit. And most importantly for this daily life lesson is for the common good. So therefore, being resilient means that you are recognizing that actually being resilient is for the common good, for the benefit even of the others. This has been our daily life lesson for today. Please subscribe to the Miracles and Science TV on our YouTube channel for more of the daily life lessons that are coming and those that we have already delivered. Thank you.